Welcome to this stateless codecast. In this video, we're going to be installing Sublime Text 3 on Ubuntu. Uh, so when this video is being recorded, this is July 2021. Um, Sublime Text 4 was released in May 2021. Um, my license is for Sublime Text 3, and um, I wasn't aware until yesterday that 4 came out, so um, I'll probably evaluate that on another machine, but for now I'm going to try to install this on this machine. So th there was a, uh, a home directory, so this was a port from a, an old machine to a new machine, and in this case my home directory might still exist, so there might be existing packages and stuff like that once we install, but we'll find out. So we're going to go to the Sublime Text um, page here. Uh, this install for Linux is for the um, for version four. So we're going to click on this download button, and you can see here other downloads: uh, Sublime Text three and Sublime Text two. So we're going to click on three here, and we're looking for uh, for build. 32.11, so we'll see here there are Linux repos and we will try that. So we're going to go here make sure we've got the key. seems to have worked even though with the deprecation warning I know I can support HTTPS and that so I'm not going to do that step so I'll get the stable version here apt update and app install sublime text we'll try launching it it is not in our path so for right now we're just going to go op sublime text actually go there and then we'll just do dot slash sublime text here so you can see here um the it says license upgrade required so um, it looks like we have build 4113, so we can't do this for version 3 via, uh, via the, um, the repository. So we're going to have to back this out. Uninstall here. I was in that directory when it got removed, so that's why that error message shows up. So now I'm going to need to download the dot deb file here for the version 3 build we shall keep we'll go to our downloads directory we'll just 
sudo apt install dash f try it that way Cancel that, so we can see now the um, the un the up license upgrade required part is no longer there. We've got if I want to go into my video description. So one of the reasons why I love Sublime, uh, for one thing, is the um, the go to anything uh, option here. So um, I particularly like this for uh, my uh, Dungeons and Dragons work as a dungeon master. I have um, text files of the spell list so I can do this uh, control P or command P search for a spell um, a spell name and then immediately get the description of it. Uh, another great thing here is the ability to multi-select. Um, so if you're doing kind of uh, text processing that you know you need to do the same operation on 3,000 lines of uh, input. Uh, this is a great uh, way to do that. I use uh, Visual Studio Code in in the, these other the coding videos that I do, uh, mostly because again Sublime Text is a uh, a pay pay for license program. It's got a very generous evaluation period as in forever, but um, if you're going to use it long term, you should buy a license for it. So um, that's kind of what we've got there. And um, so in, in these videos, I'm using VS Code, but I do love Sublime Text. Uh, so and I, I go back, I'll go back and use it occasionally, especially in those cases, like where I need to do um, processing on a bunch of different text items here. So the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that um, the opt sublime text um, directory is in my path. So I can do I can do that. Uh, that doesn't even show there. We'll, we'll see. So we're going to, I'm going to pause for a second, make sure my, um, my pro bash profile is something I can show on the screen. I think we're good. There's nothing confidential in this. So we'll, you can see here the, um, so this is just my, um, so sourcing the RVM script, and then this is my, um, my terminal uh, prompt there so that the, the full um, kind of standard uh, Linux prompt with the username and the path and all that stuff isn't there for these videos. And then, oops. So that has worked. We've got sublime text in our path. Uh, so it, my guess is, let me see with my home directory here. We'll do Control Alt P. 
we've got no projects in memory, uh, control. Shift Command P, install package control. So we'll do that. And now we can have package control install. list packages here and it looks like we've um, only got package control itself so let's say I want to we'll do so this is on Linux c control shift P to get to this point I will install package TypeScript package here. It says TypeScript successfully installed. Exit out. Come back in. Yeah, that's going to get annoying. All right. So there we have it. Uh, if we go now and look at list packages, so we've got TypeScript there. You can uh, go into your settings, um, set up your um, your user settings, and all those um, items there, which I think you can just do. So you can, you've got your um, preferences settings, settings user, etc. You can, um, so you've got your kind of default um, settings here, and then you can go in and, um, so for example, let's say that I want to, right now it's showing tab size 4. Let's say I want to change my default to change my tab default size to 2 translate tabs to spaces true and then let's say I want to I want to show my white space here. endings well at least we'll stop there this is enough for demonstrating the video and then we can see the um, line endings are now showing spaces 2 is the um, the option there save it again Let's say I want to show all white space, which I typically do when I'm coding at least. I'll add that. If 
feature in save it now we can see that we've got a combination of tabs and spaces here which is always good to to know when you're doing this so you can on this now convert indentation to spaces and you can see it's now converted to spaces so we'll we'll stop there you can um, do all kinds of things to customize sublime text but if you're in a situation where you're accidentally downloaded version 4 instead of version 3 then um, you'll know there uh, if you, you do need to enter your license so um, before this video I did this and that's where the um, um, the thing came up so you can um, I could hit click remove a license here and then come back and go to help and do add license and then you can paste in uh, your license and the um, either the um, the unregistered or the license upgrade thing will um, will show up depending on what version you've got uh, or it will go away if you've got the right version for the right um, copy of Sublime Text. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.